Our entertainment reporter compared this actress to a young Dakota Fanning. What a compliment, right? Well, let's see who I'm talking about. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. Our Hollywood happening today looks at the drama Gifted, starring Chris Evans as Frank Adler, a single man raising his spirited young niece, Mary, played by McKenna Grace. Mary is a brilliant child prodigy. Frank wants her to have a normal life. However, her wealthy grandmother has other plans for her. I just want to congratulate Chris McKenna, your performances in Gifted. As I was just telling you, I was a teacher for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And Chris, I don't think I ever had a student like McKenna's character, Mary, ever walk into a classroom in 25 years that was as gifted sure. as, as her. Sure. And that's rare. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure a few have ha had yeah. that experience. You know, that's, that's uh, he's incredibly rare. And I can only imagine discovering it. I can only yeah, imagine being yeah. the first one to kind of see it and notice it and recognize that maybe not everyone is acknowledging it and maybe putting it to its best use. Would you say List McKenna is one of your best co-stars? She <laughs> easily is one of the most talented actresses <laughs> I've ever worked with. She has a phenomenal disposition on set. She's, you know, she's she's young. She she's she's young, comes to work yeah. every day and it's not work for her. This is it's fun and, and you remember that this isn't a job. This really is uh, a beautiful game that we get to play. Oh, it's and wonderful. And, just keeps and McKenna, was he a good on-screen uncle to you? Yes, he's he's like my fun uncle in real life anyways. Is he? He's, he's like part of my family now. He really is. <laughs> oh, we spent two months together and, oh gosh. Was it, was we, it, uh, I'm sorry, was it difficult for you to learn such hard dialogue? I don't even think Chris could do the math. <laughs> I can't even read. <laughs> but I get by. Um, well, sometimes, but um, other times, if I had to write down the math, I'd just turn it into a little song in my head, and I'd go, oh. E, parenthesis, X, Y, plus great. Plus That's plus great. Plus That's just so great. You are gifted. Wait, you dude, you know that song? Sing it again. <laughs> E parenthesis X squared plus Y squared plus slash two. Then I didn't know what this symbol it. was, so I called it J thingy. So <laughs> that's the J thingy back there. Where's the J thingy? Oh, that yeah. thing, yeah. J, J thingy. thingy. You know, Chris, uh, just a serious note, um, note I, I can imagine a lot of people think having a gifted child is easy. Uh, as a teacher myself, I would think, no, raising a gifted child like your character uh, does as an uncle is not easy. It's difficult. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I would I would absolutely argue the opposite. That I think it's a it's a real challenge. That, mm -hmm. that, that um, it's it's a challenge. Probably not just navigating, um, you know, how they're going to interact socially, but but trying to understand how to best utilize those gifts and make sure they continue to yeah. flourish and grow yeah. in that arena. Mm -hmm. McKinney, you made a lot of friends making this movie, didn't you? Yes, everybody on the set was my friend. McKenna Octavia? Everywhere she goes, yeah. <laughs> Did you have fun singing with Octavia? Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> but even before that, she'd invite me to her hotel room and we'd sing and dance, and uh, she was always a really fun person to be around. Just like Chris, he was really fun to be around. Please don't make me go. You can keep homeschooling me. Tell you everything I know. No more argument, okay? We've discussed this ad nauseum. What's ad nauseum? You don't know? Wow, looks like someone needs school. Good morning, Miss Stevenson. Who can tell me what three plus three is? Everyone knows it's six. Mary, can you stand up, please? Can you tell me what 57 multiplied by 135 is? Okay. Who can? 7,695. The square root is 87.7, and change. Now what does ad nauseum mean? I listen to the wind, to the wind of my soul. I think your niece may be gifted. I am good friends with the headmaster of the Oaks Academy for Gifted Education. No, I promised my sister I'd give Mary a normal life. I think she's gotta be here. I've sat upon the set in the sun. Who's that lady in front of our door? That'll be your grandmother. Holy It's a MacBook, darling. What are you doing here? You are denying the girl her potential. How many seven-year-olds are doing advanced calculus? I forgot the negative sign on the exponent. Mary, why don't you say anything? Frank says I'm not supposed to correct older people. Nobody likes a smart ass. 
We petition the court to grant my client full custody of the child. No! No! You're going to take that girl, you're going to loan her out to some think tank where she can talk non-trivial zeros with a bunch of old Russian guys for the rest of her life. And you'd bury her under a rock. Evelyn, stop. I'm raising her how I believe Diane would have wanted. Do well, in my opinion, the drama Gifted is a throwback to the dramas of the 70s and 80s that would make you laugh and cry, and I did a little of both. Chris Evans discards his Captain America suit to play a real confused character and does it well. Young McKenna Grace will steal your heart. She will remind you of Dakota Fanning at that age. Gifted is far from an award winner, but it's a warm and entertaining film. It's rated PG-13, my grade a B minus. Well, also opening today, the animation adventure comedy Smurfs, The Lost Village. Going in style, a crime comedy starring Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, and Alan Arkin. And finally, a sci-fi comedy, Colossal, starring Anne Hathaway. I'll see you right here next Monday on The Morning Blend.